you know, the word confrontation sounds so harsh, but they really are confrontations so that we can acknowledge our pain that lies beneath the surface. I mean, would you say that until we've done that, we can't just throw scriptures at it. We can't just start declaring things. Can you talk about the process and how God helps us to dig? Absolutely. Yeah. So I I share this um, when I passed Bible school, I I wasn't living, um, you know, I was going to church services and serving in ministry, but I talk about, you know, John 10, 10, um, you know, Jesus says this, the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy, but I've come to give you life and life more abundantly. And I wasn't living that John 10, 10 abundant life. I was a believer going to heaven, but very, very limited in my thinking. Um, I was dealing with cycles of anxiety and deep depression, um, just living a very, very limited life in relationships and carrying that trauma into like I said, my, my current situations. Um, and I call it putting band-aids over bullet holes. I was, I was putting wow. theological band-aids over, you know, that you know, scriptures and things like that, but they weren't, I wasn't really allowing the Lord to really, really come into those deep parts of my heart and to heal me. So I began um, to see a, a spirit filled counselor um, in my mid twenties and my first session with her, I just felt like the floodgates open. Yeah, And she looked at me and she said, you're going to know the truth and the truth is really going to set you free. And mm. she said, I feel like the Holy Spirit is about to begin heart surgery on you, Michelle. And he wants to use you mightily, but this has to be healed and he's going to heal it. And yeah. she kind of went over with me what the spirit was telling her, but that it was going to be a process, but mm. there was a purposeful process mm. that was going to take place in my life. And she had no timeline for me, of course, and yeah. the Lord didn't reveal this big Right. Um, in, in date, but um, but I knew that I had begun a really beautiful deep process at that mm. point, and we began, you know, soul work. I had I had learned, I think, with um, some of the traumas, specific traumas I had been through, um, and being a believer, I had I had learned um, not with ill motive, but you just kind of learn to hide because vul- vulnerability is dangerous sometimes, yeah. especially at that. At that point in my life um, in the church, I think the church is getting so much better at this. But, um, you know, vulnerability mm. had, had been dangerous growing up. So that counseling session really unlocked a deep part of my heart that needed to be mm. unlocked. And shame started to lose its hold um, on my life during that time. And it has been a process, but that's kind of the the key. I feel like that whole step into counseling and some of the things the Lord was doing in my heart at that specific time He was weaving a lot of situations and relationships together to begin to unlock that shame and unlock that hatred, Mm self-hatred and anxiety and those things that I dealt with from all the things I had brought into my, you know, adulthood. 